So I've already got it lit and everything. Uh, got the charcoal in there. There's one thing I'm missing, and that is going to be some. I'm going to throw some uh, apple wood down here. I didn't put it in here yet. I'm going to throw a few chunks of apple wood in here. Just take this. There it is, the hot coals. Throw some apple wood in there. I'm going to close that until I get it on. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is a pork loin today. I got it at Costco. Uh, typically, I get them and I cut them in half. They're really inexpensive. I mean, this everything I'm cooking today was under 20 bucks. It's relatively inexpensive. And I cut it in half and hang them too. However, this time when I got them, I don't know if they'd broken half or they'd already cut them, so that's fine. So they're already cut in half. I seasoned them with just some all-purpose seasoning, um, and I injected it. Uh, now, when the injection, all I did was add about one cup of apple juice, uh, about two tablespoons or so of some garlic powder. I added some uh, black pepper, about a fourth of a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt. I stirred that up also, uh, almost forgot, but I added some melted butter in there and just whisk that all in there. You can kind of add whatever you like and just kind of get that injected. Then I went ahead and injected the pork loin in uh, various spots and it is completely soaked at it, kind of coming out of it. So I uh, didn't use all of my injection. Uh, it swelled up real well and it's got it nice and juicy. And then I put the all-purpose seasoning on. You can use whatever seasoning you like. I've done it with salt and pepper. I've done it with various seasonings. The one I'm using today is just the pit barrel all-purpose seasoning that you can actually get directly from them. It works real well. I like it and I just coated it real well. It's been sitting in there and now all I have to do is put the hooks on and let's get it hung up. Also this fire that has been going if you would like to see how I light it uh, check out the video that I'll pop up on the screen here and that will uh, show you how I lit this for this cook as well as how I light it for pretty much every cook. Uh, so be sure and check that out right there. Let's go ahead and get this piece of meat and get it cooking. We just gotta put the hooks in and this thing's gonna cook. It's gonna cook pretty quick. Pork loin go to about 145 degrees, probably about an hour. I'm gonna put some probes in so we'll know where we stand to. So right here it is. And like I said, I have two meat plus probes right here. And that will help monitor the temperature. And I really enjoy these. Uh, it's wireless, there's no wires, there's no hassle. We're gonna plug it in. One in each one of them. Kind of right in the center. Um, it's port important if you use these, it's got a spot here, you gotta make sure that's completely under or inside the meat. And also I'll mention what's cool about these probes right here is, it actually has a sensor on the outside and the inside. So you'll be able to log into your iPad, your uh, smartphone, Android device, whatever you're using. And it's going to tell you the temperature inside the grill, uh, which uh, the pit bo uh, barrel really don't have that information. Uh, but it'll work for any grill or oven. And it's going to tell you the temperature inside, internal and ambient temperatures. So that is what's cool about this. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a hook in these pieces of pork loin. And I want to put it on both of them in the direction that I injected it to try to keep, instead of turning it upside down and try to keep it from all coming out or prevent most of it from coming out anyway. Uh, and we're going to take these outside and put them in the pit barrel. So here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and place the first one on this bar. And let me go ahead and place this second one down. And there they are cooking. So I have actually have not opened the uh, pit barrel since oh, we started the cook. But you can see now. Now the ambient temperature on this one has settled down closer to that one. This one's always a little bit lazy. I'm not sure. I think it's a, it may not always be. I think it's a little hotter than what that one ever says. But anyway, they're they're both close now because this one hasn't ever gotten real hot. Uh, but 
We're at 139 and 137, a couple minutes remaining. These cooks are about done. 145 is what I'm looking at. I have not looked in here, so we're gonna take a sneak peek. We should, let's do it. It's kind of gotten dark outside too, so it's kind of hard to see, uh, but you can see there, got them hot coals down there. Everything's looking good. And uh, we're just gonna wait for this cook to finish by opening that up probably cause it to heat up just a little bit inside that's okay 140 degrees uh, 145 is what I'm looking for I'd even pull it a little bit before it hits that it's been about an hour and 10 minutes since the cook started so a little over an hour on both these pork loins so I'm just gonna uh, wait until we pull this off here in a bit we'll let it rest and we are going to give it a try so I uh, can't wait to dig into this uh, pork loin should be amazing hopefully it's juicy we'll see how it all turns out here in just a moment if you've enjoyed everything you've been watching on here and enjoy cooking outside be sure and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I've got plenty of content coming out, all cooking outdoors. Winter time, if it snows, we're going to be out here. If it's 100, we're going to be out here. Uh, we're going to get videos out here at least uh, most likely once a week or more. So keep it right here. Subscribe and let's eat some pork loin here in just a moment. Got the remove heat icon now on this one. You'll notice uh, with the meat a meter plus it'll sometimes tell you to go ahead and remove it a little bit before it hits to that because it's counting on you resting it in the first place so let's go ahead I'm gonna go in here and get a plate and and do what it said this is gonna go ahead and jump up just a bit we're gonna take that one off all right let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this right here the hook here grab on that Beautiful. Look at that. Looks like a beauty. Man, it smells great. Wow. Brought that in here in the house. Just smells amazing. So I'm going to let that rest for about 5-10 minutes and we'll be cutting into that here shortly. I'm going to place this right by this one. It's been resting. And this one has been resting. I think it's time to try. Let's try this. It's time to do it. Let's see how this thing is. Let's cut off a piece. Let's look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Moist. You can see that moistness? Look at that. Look how moist that is. Just gonna cut me off a little piece right here. Look at that smoke ring. You can see the smoke ring on the edge. Here we go. Wow, that is a flavor bomb with that injection mix I added, that all-purpose seasoning. Really, all I did smoked it on some with some apple wood. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Mm. If you want to see more content like this, be sure and hit that subscribe button because. I love cooking outside. And man, that's just amazing. Don't you want to see some amazing? I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is John. This is the Oki Smoking Channel. Y'all guys have a great day. Go smoke something now, you hear? Or cook outside.